Hey everyone, in this video we're going to cover three major objectives for compression, especially in regards to local buckling. So our first objective in this video will be to define what local buckling is, uh, so the general definition behind it and how it can be modelled um, as single plate elements. We're also going to look at the elastic buckling stress and how the stress capacity is related to the width on thickness ratio. Okay, so looking at local buckling, uh, local buckling as a general definition in uh, steel design is a flexural displacement of plate elements in a single member. Now this is in contrast to uh, the Euler or flexural buckling uh, of the whole member. In local buckling instead, it's localized to, uh, to the plate elements of a section. Now we can model local buckling uh, as plates on its own. So for an I-beam, that would be the web and the flange. In a web, uh, we uh, we actually model the all the edges as simply supported. So if you can imagine that this is the I-beam resting. Um, these two sides are simply supported because they're connected to the flange. And these two sides are also simply supported as they are also connected to the rest of the web. Now you see when we apply compression to these two sides, so compression, uh, a deflection pattern some, uh, that looks similar to this will occur. Uh, now remember that this is only a single deflection pattern, multiple different ones can occur depending on our configuration. For flanges, when we model flanges, now we have three signs that are simply supported, this side by the rest of the flange and